Right, I think now it's working. There we go. Hello everyone, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this stream of Supreme Ruler Ultimate. And as you may notice, since the game that we were playing yesterday, it has changed a little bit. Germany is now back to being Germany, Belgium has reappeared, and yeah, Poland's a lot bigger, Ukraine doesn't exist anymore. Quite a lot has changed, and that is because we have gone to World War II scenario, which is apparently far better balanced than the World War I scenario. So we basically finished World War I. We had taken Berlin, we had taken most of Germany, we were pushing our way through to Munich. I think our armies were like here type area. That that That's all that was left of Germany. Um, and I heard from many other people that the economy just never recovers. And we were having some very, very serious problems with the economy uh, in the whole world. So basically the problem is there were not enough industrial goods, which meant that no factories could be built, which meant that no military goods were getting built, which meant that no military units were getting built, and it was basically just a trickle down from this one issue. So it was a big freaking problem. And even after, I think it was 1921, uh, by the time we actually finished, it still hadn't recovered, and it very much looked like it wasn't going to, and then some people were saying, actually, by the 1930s, it still won't have. So you may as well go to World War II, and that is what we have done. However, I want to continue playing as if the Netherlands had won the First World War, and we were a very, very key part of it. So, yes, Belgium exists again. Yes, all of the uh, German industry has re-established itself. We'll just say that they've had a very, very good recovery period. Um... So that is all done, but I have been able to uh, replicate some of our successes in the Dutch economy. First of all, we should have started this game off with 57 million in the bank. We have more than 2 billion. Now, those are basically German reparations, which have gone to the Dutch treasury. Furthermore, uh, in order to make up for all the factories that we've lost, because remember, we were going after the Ruhr Valley, we stripped it more or less of all the factories and resources and things and shipped all of that back to the Netherlands and then built a boatload of factories here. Well, we don't have those at the moment and I could not work out a way of modding in those factories, but I have something which is almost as good. We are going to start with 500,000 industrial goods. Usually we'd start with about 12,000 and also 50,000 military goods. We would start with 300 and I think that this is going to be a pretty good way of replicating the fact that we are in a very good economic position. We became very wealthy after the First World War, far more wealthy than we would have been otherwise. Um, and my idea is we're going to take these 500,000 industrial goods, build a bunch of factories with it, and from there we will have a platform. So yes, it will take about a year, maybe two years, to get up to that stage, uh, but we should be able to. And also the military goods are going to help us uh, build some more military units um, so that hopefully we can hold the line against the Germans should they decide to come knocking. That's the intention, anyway. We'll, we'll see if that actually works. Did I hear about the new Hot of Iron update and expansion? Hot in history? Yes, I did. Um, I'm looking forward to playing as Germany in vanilla. I, I can't believe I'm actually saying that. I am looking forward to something in vanilla. What? So basically, the thing that they have um, implemented are two new alternate history focus trees, which are part of the DLC. They have updated some of the focus trees, um, the historical routes. That's all in the free part. The paid part is the alternate history. The second country they haven't announced yet, but they kind of hinted it was France, so I think it's going to be France, uh, because they were talking about Germany now has some focuses to deal with France going communist. Kind of gave it away. Um, so Germany is interesting. So you can basically get August von Mackensen, which is the guy with a ridiculously funky Hussar hat. He can take over the government and then abdicate in favour of Wilhelm the First or Will... No, is that right? Kaiser Wilhelm or his son, basically. Uh, if you'd go with the Kaiserliche Wilhelm, the older dude, um, then you're going for the more imperialistic uh, game where you're trying to get your empires back. You get CBs for, like, Africa, CBs for... Uh, China to get the worst, the First World War colonies back again. It's more of a revanchist type philosophy. Or you can go democratic Germany um, with his son coming into power and that route is anti-communist. So you're basically taking the Red Alert 2 uh, system whereby the communists become the, the, the big threat and Germany is kind of leading the charge in bolstering Europe against the communists. But uh, part of that focus is you can get... Um, various other countries in Central Europe and Eastern Europe into the, the German anti-communist alliance. But for every country that you add into your alliance, Russia gets various bonuses and eventually Russia will declare war probably, in fact almost certainly I think they're designing it this way, before uh, 
Germany can actually get everyone in their focus. So you have to kind of pick and choose who you want to save is basically the way that I'm reading it. So that that sounds pretty cool. I, I like that idea. I like that they've got kind of a more rooted um, but plausible alternate history. So that, that, that's that's nice. Uh, anyway, this is not hard to find. This is Supreme Ruler and we are playing as the Dutch. The insidious Dutch. So, Second Italiano-Ethiopian War. The Italians are still fighting in Ethiopia. I'm sure they'll do extremely well there. And also Germany has occupied the Rhineland. Whoa, sh why do we unpause? Oh, because I pressed OK. That's annoying. Um, so, hopefully my minister has not taken out a billion loans. It's the Dutch finance minister. He will have. Uh, even though he's had one hour. Um, so, do I want to align myself against Germany here? Or do I want to see if I can get away with being neutral and just becoming... I'm going to I'm gonna pull a World War One Dutch here. I'm going to try and stay neutral. So I'm just going to say, okay. Cool. Um, right. The other thing I'm really hoping is that we have not just sold a bunch of these resources that I gave myself. That is one thing I was a little bit concerned about. So I am going to say, lock, lock. Furthermore, I'm going to go, do not sell this stuff. You may not sell any of this stuff. This is not for sale. Do not sell it. I, hopefully that's how it works. All right. First thing is first. I want to... Um, shoo, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, basically show that we are the Dutch. We are extremely technologically advanced. I've not changed anything with our technology, so actually we're not. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and build some research centers. These cost... How much? 30,000 industrial goods, so I'm going to go ahead and just stick two of those down there. They will take a while to build, but that should be fine. Germany is scripted to declare war on you. You can't really stay neutral. All right. I've given myself the resources to build up an army, so I'm not that concerned. I'm concerned, but not that concerned. Right. The next thing I'm going to do is get some industrial goods factories going. They cost 33,000, so we should be able to get a fair f number of these. Uh, I think Neuwaken is going to be a good location for this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six new factories of that, and then six military goods factories. These are rather more expensive. No, we're going to get about three of these, I think. And we'll go ahead and do that in Hilversum. One, two, three. And then finally, I have one other thing I wish to build, and that is supply depots. And those are going to go in Amersfoort. Build, dust, no, it's not industrial. Build, military, supply depot. One, two, three, four. So we've got four of those. That will hopefully supply the whole of the Netherlands. Uh, it's basically anything within 14 tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, yeah, easy. So that one should be enough to supply the whole country, which is pretty cool. Right, next thing. We are going to select our troops, all of our troops. And I'm just going to go, right, go and reserve because I don't want to pay for you right now. And those are done. Do I need any raw materials? Agriculture, nope. Rubber, nope. Timber. Ooh, we do actually need timber. So let's go ahead and build some timber mills. Uh, sure. We'll build two more there. And oil. We Actually, we're probably okay on oil. Coal. We are massively okay on coal. So we'll leave those for now. Same with metal. Electricity. We could do with some more consumer goods, though. We'll build... Two in Amstelveen. All right. Then the next thing is to get our navy and just say, you guys, reserve wherever the nearest location is. Cool. So hopefully, don't forget power when expanding industry. Yeah, I need to see how much power we're going to need. I mean, I could stick some more in Maastricht. We'll stick some more in Maastricht. Build. Industrial. Coal power, because we do have a lot of coal. I'll stick two in there. Like, I don't want to build too much stuff, otherwise our inflation is going to go through the roof, and it's probably already going to increase rather substantially because of the amount of industrial goods that we are suddenly investing. We just have this sudden influx of stuff, and likewise money, though a lot of that money will go away because of our construction costs. All right, um, do we need any more 
Military production, probably. Yes, I'm going to build one more. I'm going to get this in. Iron... Uh, what can I build one? Apparently they can't go in... No, they can't go in towns. Well, that's interesting. I don't really want them in the same place. Ah, screw it. We'll risk it. We'll build two of those there. Well, we have two of those. And then naval production. Navy being the really important one for us. Sure, Rotterdam. We'll build two more. Two more. Hopefully we have the resources for that. Okay, naval production. Do we have any ships to build? I'm not doing capital ships. We probably want escorts. The Van Kalen. Ah, that's a name I recognize. It is from 1925. Uh, we just got Van Kalen ships in the previous scenario. Technology, that's the other thing we need to do. Do we have any better ships that we could be re researching? No, the Van Kalen seems to be the best one. We're not going for the slope gun boats. They were kind of crap. Van Kalen's are good because they have got anti-submarine warfare. So, yeah, let's build some. Unless someone like Britain has better versions. Yo, Britain, do you have better versions of ships that I could buy? Yeah, you do. Probably. When are these from? 32, 32, 34, 35. Intrepid class. How much would it be, good sir, to purchase that from you? Not particularly much. What about better infantry? So you would sell marines. How long do they take to build? 27 days. This infantry design is from 24. What infantry do I have? Oh, I have elite guards. Hang on. Oh, they take 46 days. My infantry is from 21. Theirs is from 24. I would like to buy your infantry designs. Your mounted infantry is from 29. Mine is from 29. That's equal. Artillery is the other one that we probably want. Because I know how good artillery is. I have no artillery. Awesome! Um, I hope they actually accept this deal. What's your range? 41, 41, 29, 41, 41, 29. You definitely want one of the 41s. A uh, question here is how much damage they do, I guess. How long they take to build. They're all 11 days except for you, which are 12 days. Why do you take longer? Six damage against ships. Which is much the same. Oh, hang on, you do more. Seven against ships. Five, six. Five, seven. Nine! Oh, shorter range. Five, six. Five, six. I kind of like this 5-7 here. Range of 41. Buy that. Aircraft. We do have an interceptor. It's actually better than their interceptor. Uh, close range 4, mid range 6, close range 3, mid range 3. I'm going to offer you a... So you would actually exchange this for all of these. Interesting. Interesting. So, we have a better plane than the British. That makes me very happy. Awesome. Do I want to buy tactical bombers or do I want to buy, like, multi rolls? Osprey? One, two, one, three. No. I think I probably do want some tactical bombers. Swordfish, six, two. Two, two. Two, two. Swordfish definitely seems to be the best option here. Three, two. One, one. Yep, yeah, we'll get the swordfish. Uh, we will balance this out. We're now okay. We're now we're asking for more money uh, worth than they actually have. And then capital ships. Finally, am I going to be building any capital ships? They do take a very long time to build, and I don't really have the naval capacity with which to do that. So no, we're going to hold off. Recon, AT. Ooh, that is a good AT gun. We probably do want some of these, considering we will be fighting against Germany. Sure, we will invest in that, and then anti-air. Yeah, okay. We'll grab all of those. I will beef up the money. You want 25 million for this? That is entirely acceptable to me. Are there any other technologies you want to sell? By the way, like land warships. This will save me having to do this research myself. Bearing in mind that we are like the most technologically... Well, one of the most technologically advanced nations at the end of World War One. 
You want a billion for all of this. What's the really... Okay, that was the really expensive one. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to... Uh, am I happy to do that much? No, I'm not going to do that much. That'll do. Science. No. Technology. No. Society. Yes. That's still kind of expensive. Alright, I'm going to see if I can do some of my own research for those. We are going to do that. You want 196 million. Acceptable. Very eminently, entirely acceptable. Construction's begun. Good. So hopefully we go and get... Oh shit. Nope, 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 nope. Not done yet. You are banned from taking bonds. Let's set up our ministers first of all. So we want to influence people. We want trade relations. Monetary, money-wise, we want balanced budget. We want... Inflation control, infrastructure, and education. Production-wise, I think import and export opportunities. Increasing domestic prices is probably a good one for long-term uh, interest problems. And then finally for the military, we probably want defensive military, increased efficiency, increased reserve personnel, and That'll do for that. All right, technology. We have got two techs that we can start researching straight away. Are there any designs that we want to go for? Probably not. Supply truck? Do we have supply trucks? Forever a question. Yes, though it's an old one. Uh, that will do. I mean, we're going to be probably fighting on our own territory, so I don't think supply is going to be a huge issue. I can't believe we have a top-notch interceptor. That's awesome. We have no aircraft production, though. So we should probably build an aircraft production facility, first of all. Let's go and do that. Although these are expensive as all hell. Actually, they're not that bad. Air production. Yes, I would like air production. Air production should be done near Arnhem. For reasons. Appledorn. Do it there. Air production. Did I click twice? Oh, because you have to build an air base as well. I see. Do we have anywhere that has an air base? Arnhem does. Ah, so annoying that we can't build it in Arnhem because now we have two air bases next to each other. Well, in that case, I'm just going to grab you and I'm just going to turn you off. I'll scrap you entirely. Keep in mind that lower domestic approval decreases productivity, so raising prices can be damaging to the economy. Really? That is an aspect I did not know. Right, technology. Uh, didn't want any of those. Navy. Were there any of these that I wanted? Nope. I think we just need to... We need to wait until we have the trade deal with Britain. And then from there we can kind of decide what it is that we actually want to research. That's successful. Excellent. So we got loads of stuff from Britain. So we can now go and queue some things up. Where's their 24 infantry? Oh, that's combat time. Hang on. 24, 21. So this infantry should be better. Hang on. 3, 5, 5, 2, 4, 5. It is. So we probably want to grab a bunch of these so we can at least hold the line. Then 5 of these so we have some ranged firepower, knowing how powerful that is. And then some anti-tank. That'll do for the moment. I would like to get some motorized infantry. In fact, that's not too expensive. Five, four, six. If we have time, we'll get motorized infantry. All right, aircraft. We want to be building... Oh, we have no aircraft. Hang on. It's fine. So we have amazing aircraft production possibilities, but we can't actually build any. Awesome. Escort ships. We want to build some Intrepids. Actually, let's just do a quick comparison. 175, 175. 185, 150. Intrepids are better anti-submarine, but worse anti-ship. Uh, they cost... 
685 versus 887. Twenty three kilometers, seven kilometers. No, I definitely like the Intrepids because I prefer having long range. So we're going to queue up ten of those. All right. Now just watch as my money disappears. So our units are getting reserved, and you guys. In fact, I should really be reserving over on their border. Do we have any? Barracks on the German front. Zwolle. You a barracks? You a barracks. So we should really be uh, getting our troops into Zwolle. So let's grab you lot. Minus the ships. I said minus the ships. You lot. You lot. There we are. Reserve Zwolle. And then there are probably a bunch of other... can do this. You lot, reserve, Zavala, go. For the ships based here, you can reserve there. For the ships based here, you can reserve there. For the ships based here, you can reserve there. And the aircraft can just turn right on round. UK denies aid to France. Despite his growing fears of German militarization with their reoccupation of the Rhineland, British Foreign Secretary Anthony Eden has today turned down French requests for military aid. No. No. No bonds for you. You want to start Project Tank uh, 2018? No. Okay. Okay. How am I losing this much money? Well, I know exactly how. I'm building a boatload of things. Although my construction costs are now actually fairly reasonable. And how much am I spending on all of this stuff? Nothing. So that must have just been initial costs for construction. Plus the massive outlay to Britain. Okay, we haven't actually lost as much as I thought. Yes, it's going down, but not as bad. Hey, Jason. So I think we're right. Paraguay, fascist regime. Paraguay, under Rafael Franco, has formed the first fascist regime in the Americas, underlining the growing popularity of this political philosophy. Okay. Uh, right, Britain, can we get any agreements from you? Nope. Oh, that's because that... Damn. What about you, France? Are you willing to do any diplomatic overtures? All right, then. Germany. Anything? Nope. Neutral defense? Nope. Belgium, buddy. Ah, you would. This is almost certainly going to draw me into the war, but all right. We will do that, so we at least have some friends. Uh, Denmark? Mutual defense? Maybe. I will offer you that. Spain. Spain's going to have a civil war. So hopefully we're able to make some friends at least. Is the sound coming out of my sodding speakers again instead of my headset? Oh, it totally is, isn't it? Alright, so we have an alliance with Belgium. You want a counter offer for 2.75 million? Totally agree with that. Belgium and the Netherlands. Sorry, the Netherlands and the South Dutch have now formed an alliance. Excellent. Diplo exchange successful, so hopefully we can start some diplomacy going with some other countries. Uh, Switzerland, I doubt, would do anything. Try Italy. Do you want to give me anything? No, didn't think so.
good dry like Yugoslavia or something if we really wanted to cause Germany problems on all their fronts. No, I didn't think that Yugoslavia... Oh! They would! Alright. So, by the way, I am playing on hard economy, hard military and normal diplomacy. Because I don't like the games where it's utterly impossible to get any kind of agreements, they're just kind of dull. Sweden, do you, do you want anything? Sweden might. I'm just surrounding them in enemies now. Alright, so we don't want the formal alliance, we just want the non-aggression, criminal extradition, full transit, line of sight, missile. Well, they don't want to do line of sight. No, line of sight they're okay with. It was the other one. Uh, Alright, let's just close those. Non-aggression, I know we were good with. Mutual defense we're okay with. Full transit. Free trade. Free flow. Criminal extradition. Line of... Right, it was line of sight. I thought so. I'll send you that. Why have you guys returned there? I thought I told you to reserve and voila. Off they go. Successful with Yugoslavia. Sweden wants 18 million. I will accept that. So I am now allied in mutual defense with me, Belgium, Denmark, Yugoslavia, and Sweden. Cool. I'm actually feeling fairly secure. Like if Germany goes after any of the little guys, we all band together. I would be almost tempted to go for Czechoslovakia, but I think that would actually be a bad idea, because I'm pretty sure that Germany will go for the Czechs. Why am I getting help? I thought I had this stuff turned off. Can I just minimize you? No, there we go. In fact, just a way of turning you off. General. Minimum? No. Help system auto highlight. Alert lists, no. Am I missing it? Don't know. But the thing that's really annoying me here. is the fact that you guys have no sound. So I am just going to restart the game very, very quickly.